You know what will really take your projects to the next level, but basically nobody's doing? Knit and crochet in the same project. Yes, that's a thing. Well, hello, and welcome to episode 13 of Be Hooked TV. Thank you so much for joining me today. And this week, my purpose is to help you step up your project game, maybe shake up the routine just a little bit, and show you how you can incorporate both knitting and crochet in the same project. There are little tiny quirks, of course, that you need to consider, but more importantly, I wanna give you the basics just to set yourself up so you can get your creative wheels turning and you can start a project that incorporates both knitting and crochet stitches. All right, now in demonstration today, I'll be using ZZ Twist Yarn by Lion Brand. Big thank you to them, of course, for sponsoring this entire season of Be Oaks TV. But honestly, I really couldn't wait to dive into this yarn. This is one of those super yummy acrylic yarns that feels very silky. Like when you feel it, it is such a soft yarn. I wish you could reach through the camera here, reach through your screen and feel this yarn. But the cool thing about ZZ Twist is that it's really great for crochet specifically. And that's because the twist of the yarn is in the direction that the yarn over is on your hook. So think about all those yarns that you've tried where you're doing yarn over, just working a double crochet stitch or whatever, and the yarn slowly seems to unply and then it starts to split and then it's just no fun to work with anymore. You won't get that with ZZ Twist because it is plied and twisted in the direction that it will wrap around your hook and it'll make it easier to work with. You'll have neater stitches, better tension and that sort of thing. Now ZZ Twist yarn is on the lighter side of the worsted weight category. So keep that in mind when you're planning your projects. It's just slightly thinner than maybe some of the other worsted weight yarns you've worked with. It is premium acrylic yarn, 100% acrylic, and it's also machine washable and dryable. So you can make a garment, a sweater with this yarn, and you can throw it in the washer and dryer and not have to worry about it. So when you're planning your projects and you're looking for a yarn that has great stitch definition, that's incredibly soft and easy to work with, you might wanna consider ZZ Twist. Give this stuff a try. I'll have a link in the video description below to where you can visit Lion Brand's website. You can see the different colors that are available. You can read some reviews and, and see all of the details about this yarn. All right, to kick us off, let's address the obvious question. How on earth do you make that transition from crochet hook to knitting needles and knitting needles to crochet hook. Let's start with the first one, crochet hook to knitting needles. So when you start your project, you've crocheted some stuff first and you want to switch now to knitting, I think this transition is just slightly easier. So we'll talk about this one first. You'll finish your final row in your crochet pattern as you normally would. You'll turn your work and keep your active loop. So just pull up on it, remove your crochet hook, and insert your needle into that active loop. From there, all you have to do is pick up and knit. Now, if you're already a knitter, you're very familiar with this, but even if you're not already a knitter, this is still pretty easy stuff. It's especially easy when you're doing it on crochet work first because you have stitches to work into. There's really no guesswork to it. So if this is a new thing for you, a quick look at picking up and knitting, you're just gonna stick your needle in your stitch and wrap the yarn and pull it through. And so you're just sort of collecting some live stitches there on your needle. You'll do that to the end of your row and then proceed with your knitting pattern, your stitch pattern, as you normally would, just as if it were always a knitting project. So that brings us to the other option. What if you start knitting first and you wanna switch over to crochet? From there, there's sort of an extra step involved, but it's definitely not any more difficult than the other one. In this instance, you need to bind off first. So work your stitch pattern, your knitting stitch pattern, however you want it to be worked. When you're ready to make that transition, go ahead and work a bind off row and try to do so a little more loose than you normally would. I find it really helps if you jump up a needle size, maybe two needle sizes, so you make sure that your bind off stitches are nice and loose and you can fit your crochet hook in them comfortably. So you'll bind off as usual, pull up on that active loop, don't fasten off or anything, and insert your crochet hook into that active loop 
and then proceed as normal. Every one of your knitting stitches now becomes a potential place where you can work a crochet hook and a crochet stitch. So pretty cool stuff, right? That is how simple it is to transition from crochet to knitting and knitting to crochet. And you can see how you can sort of build on this. Think about a scarf maybe that incorporates a, a stitch pattern in knitting and then jumps to crochet pattern then then jumps back to knitting. And you can do some really cool stuff with this. There are a couple of things to consider though when you're working these two crafts together in one project because they're so very different from each other. You need to consider those differences and how those differences will either work for or work against the particular project that you're working. So the first thing to consider is the fact that the thicknesses are different between crochet fabric and knitting fabric. If you do both crafts, surely you have noticed that your crochet stitches are often a lot thicker than your knitting stitches. And that's something to consider because the thicker the fabric, the more stiff the drape will be. So how do you get around that? How do you eliminate any weirdness in drape from the transition from the, the crochet stitch to the knitting stitch? What I like to do is go up a hook size or two for my crochet section, because by making the stitches bigger, making the tension a little bit looser, it's going to be a little more airy and have a nicer drape to it that'll match knitting a little bit better. So the moral of the story here is just to be clever. Use these differences for the project, to the advantage of the project if you can. If you are looking for a section that needs to be a little more sturdy, maybe you use that as the crochet part in the project. And if you're looking for something to have a nice drape or maybe a particular stitch pattern, maybe you can use that for the knitting stitches and it'll all work together in harmony when you put just a little bit of thought behind it. Now, the second thing to consider is the fact that the gauge will be different for your knitting and your crochet stitches, even if you're using, say, the same needle size and the same hook size, because the crafts are different, it's going to be different in terms of gauge. So what I like to do is always make a gauge swatch. Of course, you know that because you've been watching for a while. You know that gauge is really important, but when you're mixing these two crafts together, it's really helpful and pretty much necessary to do a gauge swatch in both crochet, the, the crochet stitch you're going to use and the knit stitch that you're going to use. And you can take some measurements, use that for your grading if you're, if you're doing that, or just if you're taking a mental note of how wide something is going to be, how many stitches you need to have in a row or that sort of thing. You can get a lot of information from your gauge swatch. So definitely don't skip this step when you're incorporating the two crafts. Now, another thing that's really important to consider is that there's really no one size fits all approach when you're mixing crochet and knitting. I would love to say that for every worsted weight yarn, use a six and a half millimeter knitting needle and use a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. Unfortunately, for every single stitch pattern, for every single project, for every single yarn, for every single person who is creating a project with all of these variables, it's going to be different. So again, what I would recommend is start by swatching. You don't have to make a full swatch to really get an idea if it's what you really want, if it's what you expect, the drape and that sort of thing. Work up a few stitches when you feel like you're on the right track to maybe, maybe then finish that gauge swatch and take some measurements. But the bottom line is just to experiment first. That way you're not putting a lot of time and effort into a project that doesn't turn out the way you want it to in the long run. Now, the last thing to consider again is sort of on the lines of pattern grading. If you're planning your project in advance, maybe you're ordering yarn online and you wanna make sure you're ordering enough, you're really diligent, you do your gauge swatch, and maybe you take your calculations to estimate the amount of yarn you need with one swatch and not the other. Just keep in mind that crochet typically will use more yarn than a knitting stitch. So there you have it. That is the really simple way that you can transition from crochet to knitting and from knitting to crochet, as well as a couple little quirks to keep in mind when you're planning your projects by mixing these two crafts. Now, again, if you wanna get your feet wet and just try this, this 
technique out, try this idea out, and you wanna follow a pattern, you don't really wanna do your own thing, I'll have a link in the video description below to that crochet and knit basket. It's a tutorial that I released earlier this year. It shows everything in, in full detail. So it'll walk you through everything. So you can see if this is right for you and maybe if you want to incorporate it into a later project. Now, I would love to know if you have ever mixed crochet and knitting in the same project. And if you did, tell me what type of project you made and tell me about something that you learned throughout the process. I know with making that those first couple of projects, I learned all of these things sort of the hard way, and I'm sure there's more to learn about mixing these two crafts together. So if you learned something maybe different than what we covered here, please leave that in the comment section below. It'll definitely help me, and it'll help others in the community who might be interested in mixing these two crafts for a future project. Now, if you like what you saw here with ZZ Twist Yarn, don't forget I'll have a link in the video description below that'll take you to Lion Brain's website so you can see if it's right for your next project. Think great stitch definition, super soft, really easy to work with. If those three qualities are a must, then this might be the right yarn for your next project. And one last thing before I go. Now, if you're subscribed to this channel, you've probably seen this video already, but just in case you missed it over the weekend, Be Hooked Crochet, this channel has just reached 300,000 subscribers, which is crazy and amazing, and I can't even believe it. And I'm throwing a giveaway in order to just say thank you for 300,000 subs for watching every single week, for being really enthusiastic about getting better at your craft. And I just wanna let you know that video is there and I want you to get in on this giveaway. If it's something that you're interested in, I mean, who doesn't like free stuff? So I will have a link to that video in the video description below. You'll also see it here on your screen. Might be on that side. We'll It'll be on your screen somewhere so that you can watch that video and it'll give you instructions on how you can participate, maybe get your entry in to possibly win this wonderful giveaway. All right, that'll do it for this week's episode of Be Hooked TV. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next week.